G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. It's of course the captain here and we're having a look at another Sovtart that decided that uh, they knew a little bit more than the law once again. But you will learn very, very quickly that this new little Sovtart has no idea. In fact, she drives a Commodore, which in Australia is the clitoris because every has one if we know what we're saying there if you understand the words anyway look we're gonna have a bit of a look at this young lady this happened earlier this year she was traveling from one state into the other so she's coming from the state of victoria into the state of new south wales she gets pulled up in gundagai so about i don't know about five hours from the border from one state into the other and uh let's see how she goes for her first time um it's private so it's privately owned okay so uh, it's not registered it... in any state or territory of new south wales um, no, I'm not part of the state. Nope, okay. Do you have any identification on you? I do. Just been asked for identification. So the little bush pig princess has been pulled over by police and instead of producing her actual identification, you know, isn't a license, it's something that has been given to you by the government, she pulls out her little uh, card here that states, I'm a complete and utter dickhead and here's my identification to prove it. I have zero understanding of what is happening around me and I just graduated from the University of YouTube in a degree of fuckfacery in order to be here today, your worship. It also states on this card, that she is a citizen on Earth, and instead of having a birth date, it has a first breath date. I wonder if it, uh, she gets a new one when she passes away, and it'll be last breath date. That would be really cool to have on a license, to be honest. Anyway, continue, young lady, continue. Has the vehicle ever been registered, as far as you're aware? Um, yes, it has. Yep, do you remember where, or know where? Well, I guess um, when I first bought it. Yep. You don't remember which state it was registered? Oh, Victoria. Yes, yeah. I'm just going to do some checks, okay? Do you have a current license in New South Wales or in Victoria? Um, the I'm not, a, I'm, I'm private, so I'm not under any uh, so public law. you don't law. have an actual license? You're just operating under your own? Um, yep, law, law of morality, L-O-R-E. Yep. Yep. Tiffany Titface here has no idea what reality is. She just said that she goes under the law, L-O-R, of Marley, which is from The Witcher, which is a TV show, which is fictional. What the hell? This is what happens when you start eating avocado toast and sipping on chai lattes. Your reality just warps. The fuck? What the hell? My God. Whatever that means. Sovereign plates. She's taking photos. So, taking their time. Go by over there. Just doing some checks. Yes, out here in the country, it gets rarer and rarer to see the fine specimen of a silly sovereign soft tart, but we found one out here in the country. Gather around, boys. Let us look and poke fun at this young soft tart. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, so whereabouts are the plates that belong to the vehicle, the registration plates? Um, where are That they? are actually attached to it, that it's obviously registered. Yeah. Yep. So whereabouts are the number plates that belong to the vehicle? Um, in the car. In the car at the moment? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, Saddlebag Susan, you're not supposed to tell them that you actually have the proper number plates for the car in the car. What's going on? You put your sovereignty number plate on there for a reason. Don't back out of it now. Don't back out. We want to see this through. Come on. I'm, I'm going sovereign, okay. Okay. pretty much. I'm just really, well. I'm slowly removing myself from yep. being um, under your corporation because you're you're actually a corporation. So you're 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 like a you just collect money. You're like a business. Well, I'm not, but sure. Yeah, yeah. You work. You, you work for the yep, company. That's right, Mrs. Policeman, don't you understand I know more than you and you work for the corporation and I don't bargain with corporations, except for, you know, when it comes to good corporations like, you know, brand names, my beautiful glasses and my wonderful hat and my beautiful dress and if I go on TikTok and if I do this, then that's all fine, but any other corporation, oh, no ma'am, not having it. So anyway, I've, I'm just transitioning into um, interactions. Yep, with police and getting all my uh, certificates and everything I need to um, to pretty much state that 
you have uh, no authority over me because um, without the number plates and without the license, uh, I'm not actually under your membership. So you can you can rightfully pull over anyone who has a registration plate in whatever state because um, you're registered into a membership. I know you're probably not interested, but. Um, the understatement of the century you're probably not interested no she's not the copper ha has zero care for what the bullshit is that you're spouting out of that little cock mouth of yours how about shut the fuck up and do what you've been asked to do provide your license and your registration it's not a membership it's not gym you can't just cancel it because you know you don't want to go along with it i mean come on it's not it, it's registration for a vehicle that you need to drive um, but without that, um, you, technically there's, you, you end up in court and it gets thrown out because they say, oh, you've got loss of license. But if I don't run under a license, then there's nothing to lose. Every word of what you just said was wrong. Well, under the legislation, obviously, in New South Wales, you are driving a vehicle, or well, you're not currently driving right now, which is fine, but uh, whilst you're driving a vehicle in New South Wales, it must be registered. Yeah, they say that in every street. To drive that. Okay, Only if I'm that's under your... why I'm making these inquiries. Yes, yeah. you understand that? Anyone with a human brain will understand what road registration is. In fact, you could go in the middle of bumfuck Bali and they will understand what road registration is for a vehicle. But for some reason, sovtards, they morph from normal people into sovtards and they forget logic, laws, and, you know, pretty much anything to do with being clever ever again. And they just become these little sovtards and they go into their own little worlds and they have their own little meetings and they print out their own little forms and they think that they're all that. But I think Princess Peach, he just forgets that, you know, laws exist. Well, yep. I okay. guess that's your job. I will let I you know as well, obviously, that I have a body-worn video camera that records everything. Yeah. Okay, so can you grab those plates out for me just to show me which ones they are? Um, can I have my I'm not finished with it yet, so okay. I'll continue dealing with you. That's fine. But can you grab the plates out for me? Please, you've got them there. Do you have them there? Um, so, do you have your um, Victorian driver's license there that you previously operated under? Um, yes, I do. Yep, do you Hang on, what? You actually do have a license? Holy shit! I did not see this one coming, Sobtard. Mostly Sobtards get rid of those gnawing pieces of plastic because screw the man, remember? Not the corporation. That's not going to happen on my watch. Although I might get pulled over by police, so it's probably a good idea that I keep the actual registration of my vehicle current and make a driver's license in my purse. Ha! Huh, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, Sobtard, commit to it or don't. You're gonna you're letting our American counterparts down. I mean, what of all the other Sobtards out there, you know, look and see that you have a license? Oh, you're not gonna be invited to the monthly meeting. Have it there with you at the moment? Yes. Yep, may I please see it? You've got it there? Um, I understand you give me this one, that's is, fine. Yeah, that's but okay. But I can see that you've got a Victorian driver's license and that's great. Okay. So these are my registered plates yep. with the state. Yep. So but when I'm, did you take those off? Yesterday. yesterday. I'm not part of the state. Okay. You're not actually part of this reality. If you think that you belong to the law of Marley and, you know, a part of the witch's crew or whatever the fucking TV show is all about, you're not in this reality at all. Don't worry about the state. You don't exist on this plane. You don't exist in this dimension. We're going to need Doctor Strange to go and find you. And he's a Marvel character. It has nothing to do with the Witcher, but we're going to have to call him in. And that's my property, so. Well, yeah. it's not my property, but it is it's at the moment. It becomes property of the state, I suppose. Exactly. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. And I'm not property of the state, so you can't take me. And rightfully, rightfully, because they're registered, they should not be. able to be displayed. It's unlawfully displayed because it's displayed as a registration plate, which it's not. If, so on private prop on if private we put, property. If we put those on now, should you like to go? Well, she's facing some fines at the moment, theoretically. But they don't affect you because they're um, not But yes, for her to drive the vehicle, these need to be displayed because it is registered in Victoria and that's what is exempting her from requiring New South Wales registration to drive on the roads here in New South Wales. Hang on, Mrs. Policeman. Are you stating that if she has the correct number plates on the correct vehicle that she can drive legally on the road because she has a license? What a strange concept. Maybe we should roll this out to the masses. Does everyone know about this? Who knew? My God, we should start like a membership or something. Oh my gosh, who would have thought? 
I'm glad she called in Dudley Dickface for a bit of backup on this one too. The, pri the public roads. Your opinions can be whatever they want to be, that's fine. I'm, I'm not arguing with you there, but unfortunately the law in, is the law in this state and that's what we're LAW. here to. LAW, Does yes. Really okay, so I'm not going to get into a, into a discussion with you about what your beliefs are. That's fine. You're welcome to have whatever beliefs you like. Oh, I can identify as what I want too. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not arguing with that. You can do whatever you want. That's yeah. fine. Cool. But these need to be displayed on your vehicle for you to be driving it in New South Wales. Okay, well, any state, really. Any state, yes. You've got to say that. We'll put yep. them on. We can get out of here. Eh? All right, but um, I've got some inquiries to, to make. Go. I'm, all, I'm good. I'm good. I'll just hang. Mm -hmm. I'm, happy. No, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to just hang. Okay, okay so... Did you find your driver's license there, your Victorian uh, one? Can I have my property back here? I'll give or? it back to you okay. when I'm finished talking to you guys at all. I don't plan on keeping it. So do you still reside at that address on your license or have you moved from there? Now you're living under your own? Well, I'm kind of in and out of time, car life, so. Yeah. But yeah, if any mail or whatever, that'll go there. Yeah. I'm in and out of car life. What the hell does that even mean? Is this because you're trying to move to Narnia? Because I'm reckoning that you've got a better chance of getting into Narnia than to the bloody Marley. Okay, give me a second, I'll make a couple more inquiries, okay? And I'll Sorry about the fine. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm talking to them. Oh, you Sorry don't have to. The fines. Like, you... who cares? It doesn't bother me anyway. They get sent back. Yeah, just keep sending them back. They're not. They're not lawful anyway. It, they don't affect me. I just write a letter and they they can't. Uh... Yeah, that's not how fines work. You see, you get fined, and then if you don't pay those fines, the fines build up and they get admin fees and they get a whole bunch of different fees on top. Those fees eventually turn into final notices. The final notices eventually turn into warrants, and that warrants turn into the sheriff coming around to your house and taking you in front of a magistrate, where you then have to plead your case about whether or not you should go to jail. Sometimes the magistrate says, just pay off the fine and you'll be fine. And you go, okay, no worries, I'll do that. But I guarantee this young lady's going to walk straight into the magistrate's office and go, no, I believe in law, L-O-R-E, law. And he's going to go, jail. Just jail. All this money's going to pedophiles, you know that? It's all going to the pedophile leaders. Just remember that. Mm-hmm. It's the whole thing, pedophiles. Effing pedophiles. That's who's getting the money. Are you stupid or something? 28 high ranking profile pedophiles is in Parliament. All these bikes, Molly Meldrum, they're all pedos. They're all pedos. Order. Order. Yeah, so. Does you know that? Scott Morrison. I think Scott, Scott Morrison stabbed someone in the dick. Actually stabbed someone in the dick. So Darren Dicknose here decided to bring everybody in town down to have a look at this. He's spouting off whatever. He stabbed, apparently our Prime Minister stabbed someone in the dick. But check it, look at this. Look at the viewing audience. It's good that he, the whole town of Gundagai turned out to see fucking this young lady get pulled over. And it's, it's just good to see, isn't it? It's good to see. So I'm guessing once this is all said and done, they're going to head back to their Rotary Club meeting and just enjoy the rest of the night on the Terps and the meth. Good on them. Everyone needs a hobby. Back. Thank okay. you. Um, these need to be displayed on your vehicle. As All I've right. been told. Those ones can't be. They, so uh, what happens when I no longer have a registration? So because they're still I've still registered to them for six months. Yep. Yeah. So after that happens, then technically, because I'm not part of the state. Well, only if I'm part of the state with plates. But well, that's what I'm plates. here to talk about is the legislation yep. in New South Wales, okay? I'm not here to talk about whatever legislation you're deciding to operate law? under. What about universal Like one small area, what about universal It's not law? what we're here for, okay? Listen, Natalie, no tits. The copper's not having a bar of it, okay? Just don't drive if you haven't got your plates on. Don't drive with your bullshit stuff on your car. It's that simple, right? Have the right stuff and you can drive. It's easy as that. She's not here to hold roadside fucking court with you. Yeah. So, if your license is current, that's fine, it's all active, that's all good. But I need, <laughs> look at this handy. Okay, okay. Do you well, understand? Thank you. So they need to be removed and these need to be displayed correctly. Okay. Alright, so you're going to receive two fines in the mail that's to that address on your fine. license good in relation to not displaying the correct number of plates and to displaying unauthorised number of plates. Both not okay. actual criminal offences, but... No, it's a road traffic offence. I know that sounds a little bit hard to comprehend, but 
that's what it is. It's a road traffic offence. It's an offence because you're driving on a road without the stuff. You can lose points on your licence. You can even lose your whole licence. You can even be barred from driving again. Not that it will stop a sovtard because, you know, let's face it, sovtards don't believe in that stuff. Like how they don't believe in oxygen and, you know, the earth being round and, you know, the fucking moon. I'm not going to argue with you, I've said you that. You don't have right. to. Because um, it won't, they it does, they don't send, send They will be court. sent to that address on your licence within 7 to 10 business days and have all your disposal options on them. Good okay, do you have any questions? Take some food out of children's and babies' mouths. Do you That's what you're so good at. Oh, they won't be getting it. Oh, I've got a feeling that they will. I have a strong feeling that the uh, law enforcement agencies are going to get exactly what they asked for. They're going to get their fine money and they're probably going to dock points off your licence because... That's how the law works. Anyway, what would I know? I'm just a bootlicker. So here we are. We're a gunner guy. We've got one, two, and a mark. Three. There was a fourth. So it looks like they're hitting us up early. Over here, copper. Stop on the plate here. So then, we're going to see what happens. Okay. Oh, there's the fourth right there. You know what? By the look of that guy. Probably very normie priors. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love how cockhead Constantine just realised that he has a whole bunch of priors that the local town police of Gundagai, New South Wales, is fully aware of. So he didn't even need to look at your priors. He knows you. He knows you too well that he's just going, can't be fucked. Look at you. You're just a gronk. I'm not. I'm not part of it. So first attempt of being half sovereign because I'm still registered and I'm still licensed. It didn't go so well. So I probably made it like four hours up the road. Wait, three hours? Three hours up the road before I got harassed by some pigs who harassed me, stalked me. Um, and then tried to attempt, well they find me but that's not gonna, that doesn't mean shit to me. So I had to change my plates back over. That, that didn't work. I mean, it, it might work more if I'm actually. Well, probably not. I wouldn't go. Good, wouldn't go down. The fuck these. You cannot talk to these people. You cannot talk to police. They don't give a fuck. You can't talk to them. You just. You just can't talk to them. They don't care. They say under. New South Wales legislation crap. Fuck. I'm traveling, I'm passing through. I am not a New South Walian. But still, they don't give a fuck. But again, I chose this path and I'm not giving up that easy. So she's only half a sovtard right now. She's waiting to go. Everybody knows you never go full sovtard. You see, she's gonna go full sovtard. We say don't not to go full sovtard, but she's going to. And if you don't believe me, she released another video not long after this arrest, and uh, you're not going to believe what she spouts. I know, it's going to blow your minds. Is she going to retract everything she said? Is she going to be, you know, taught the error of her ways? Or does she just drink more and more of the United States Kool-Aid and learn more of this whole soft art movement? I am known as Chloe, and I greet you with this message on the 12th of January, 2023. So the media has taken hold of my respected interaction video with a New South Wales police officer in Gundagai on the 5th of January 2023. As I stood in my divine truth, God-given power and rights, I questioned the civil police officer's authority and intentions. As the police officer stands in her power that she believes to be true and correct, I stood in mine. No anger was raised, no disrespect was directly present, no attitude was rude, no violence was present or projected or threatened. I am that I am. I am love. I am peace. Yes, I stand with our Anzacs, upholding the 1901 Federation six-pointed red ensign flag, proudly as they proudly sacrificed under it. 
thank you for your sacrifice, for what you gave up to provide a brighter future for generations to come, lest we forget freedom, family and prosperity. Now, least relevant, me. I am successfully self-funded. I am a proudly qualified disability and aged care support worker, supporting and valuing the frail and vulnerable. I do not believe in government handouts or benefits nor do I place my faith or health in the hands of the medical industry. I am a competent adult who does not need to be governed. I am responsible. I am conscious that I am. As a successful, prosperous society should be. It's 2023. Wake up. Make an article out of that. Oh my God, there is so much to unpack in that clip. I feel dumber having to have watched all of it right down to the hand movement on her head Oh, the less we forget because for some reason she wants to drag the Anzac spirit into her bullshit Oh my gosh young lady just when we thought that there was hope you did it you went and gone full soft out Oh my gosh I can't wait to see your very first day in court Please send a message out to all of your followers on the gram so I know exactly when to go. I want to be there. I want to be there in the court. I'll even hold up a sign for Sally Shitface and go, yay, yay for soft hearts. Yay. Anyway, boys and girls, that's it for another one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, press the little bell for all notifications. Share this with your mates. Who knows? Maybe you can all be bootlickers with me according to the comment section of all my videos. Anyway, talk to you soon. All right.